Okay, for the zillionth time, you want to hear it again? I know what I'm doing. Giving up this baby, right decision. Being here with you, wrong decision. You haven't touched your breakfast. All right, you said you wanted me to take some time to be alone and think things through. Well, first of all, I'm not alone. And second, I've thought things through. Your little plan to sneak me out of Greg's spa retreat, over. Thanks, Benedict, they're great. Mm. Wonderful, I'm happy for you. Enjoy them, eat them, and enjoy them all the way home. And when you get there, tell everyone I'm fine, I couldn't be better. This is a Pine Valley free zone, no Ryan, no Erica, and, and pretty soon, no you. Nothing to say? Okay, well, goodbye. Please, can you just... We're moving! Are you, are you kidding me? What, what in the hell are you doing, Zach? What are you, what are you, you, you kidnapping me? Yep. You promised we could go back. I promise to take you back once we talk it over. We haven't done that yet. I'm sorry. There's there's no deal. Now turn this tub around. You agreed to get away from Madden and get some air in your decision. Not this much air. You need that. No, Zach, this is this is nuts. This, this is crazy. All of my things are back on the island. No, I don't pack. You what? Are you kidding me? You you cannot do anything in a straight line, can you? You can't you can't trick me. Ship to shore. Now, go. Right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start breaking everything in Actually, sight. Actually, it's a boat, not a ship. And I had it stocked for a week. And after that week, if you want to go back to Freak Island, I'll take you there. You can't hold me hostage for a week. My God, you're exactly like Ryan and my mother. You're all about control. Just enjoying my breakfast. Great. Here, on my mother and Jack's ship, that you, you said neutral ground. What happened to neutral ground? I am neutral. I have no stake in this baby. Don't play Switzerland here. My mother is somewhere. Where is she? Is she hiding? Is she, is she out in the galley somewhere? Is she ready to bop out and hit me over the head with some of her mother love? She has no idea I'm here. That's impossible. I stole the boat. You what? I stole it. Oh. Well, so? So you're still all about control. What are you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna you try to indulge me with, with butter and lobster to get me to crack? No. I don't want you to crack. I want you to enjoy yourself. And Madden is one that's all about control. He brings you to an island so he can work on you. It's a spa for pregnant women. There's no mind melding with the mud masks or no, no brainwashing with the body wraps. It's just women that are in the same situation as me, but worse. It's actually really refreshing to have people who understand my decision. If it's your decision. Well, how do you know? You're surrounded by some Madden groupies. This is not the island of, of zombie pregnant women. All right, I'll I tell you, why don't we make this the island of Kendall? Huh? You're a queen. There's not, no, no pressure, no, no, just have fun. You don't get it, do you? Being here with you is the biggest pressure of all. I'm gonna go up top. Why don't you finish with Lefty at breakfast? I'm gonna make a phone call. Wait, who are you calling? You tell me. Maybe I should just throw your cell over the ship. Erica or Ryan's up to you. Neither. I don't want them to know where I am. You disappeared. You left a phony note for your doctor. You really want him to worry like that? You see, you always have to play the hero. Me? I'm never the hero. You know that by now. So what do we do? Do you call them or will I? But they have to know that you're okay. Otherwise, God knows what they're gonna do. It says it's calm seas from now on, so why don't you go upstairs and find a good book. With you staring at me, trying to figure out new ways to make me crazy, I'd rather walk the plank. All right, I won't stare at you. Well, you don't have to talk if you don't want to. I just, uh, mm. I want for you what it is that you want. You know, it's your decision. No one else's. I've made my decision. With your heart? What do you know about my heart? Well, I don't know. Just, uh, I think maybe you're laying there at night and imagine what it would be like to hold a little boy. And you look into his eyes and then just give him up to somebody else. So why don't you look at me and tell me that the decision you made with Madden was the right one? 
See that, Zach, right there? That is pressure. My mother, Ryan, I can take. But you, th th this is the worst possible it's pressure. No, 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 no pressure. I just don't want you to have a good time, you know? Get, uh, get some sun. Relax. The way you pour my tea and the way that you, you touch me and your eyes, that, that, that thing, you, you're doing it right now, that, that thing that you do, you, you look at me as if you... As if what? As if I still love you? I do still love you. Always will. Love. Yeah, that's no no pressure there. What am I supposed to do with that? Nothing. You know, I'm, I don't want anything from you. I just I want you to have your life back, with or without the baby. I can take care of my life. You've done enough already. I'm responsible for the creation of this child, and I, I had no right. And I wish you would take it back. Well, you were all about how justified you were to pull the plug the night of the blackout. And I believed it. And that same night, I learned that I shouldn't be playing God with people. I tried to fix my son. Now he's gone. I tried to fix you. And here we are. I took choices away from both of you, and I, I wish I could bring them back. And I know I broke something in you. I know I cracked your self-confidence and your fearlessness. And I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. You're the reason that I can't raise this child. How did I make it impossible for you to raise your kid? Every time he kicks. Every time he does a 360, I think about how you cost me my future. How, how can I be a good mother and love this child when every time he would sit on my lap or, or give me a kiss on the cheek, I'd be reminded that he cost me you. This child deserves a mother who looks at him with nothing but love. He deserves a mother who only sees him, not what she lost. And I can't give him that, Zach. And that's your fault, all of it. Even if I thought there was some chance that, that we could be together again, that, uh, some chance at all, it's your fault, Zach. You made me have to leave you. You made me have to be alone. You don't have to be alone, you know. You can have whatever you want, whether you keep the baby or not. I love you. I want you to be happy. It's your life, your future, and your choice. And whatever you decide, I will support you. If that's what you want. And if I'm what you want,